There's always good shit in the police station. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Scum. I feel a bit like Scum. Uh, I disappeared for basically a month. I was gonna say it was like a Halloween prank, something like that. And, uh, you know, super spooky, pretend to be dead, something, <laughs> something like that. But, um, yeah, really I was just super busy. Got all these kids running around, birthday parties to settle, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it turned out relatively well. I did all the things that I was supposed to do. Now I can hopefully come back and enjoy some some special time with my special people. That's you. And I'd like to start it up with Scum. Basically because uh, it's a new game, or relatively new. I might name this guy Pumpkinhead. And I guess it's like one of the most in-depth survival crafting games out there. So it's really, really exciting to me. Uh, I'm not going to change the body type too much, I suppose. Dexterity? You don't really need dexterity. I could move away from dexterity just fine. I'd be like super muscular? Hell yeah. Let's do that. Look at he's fucking buff. He pumpkin head. So we've got uh, two dex points. As you can see, stealth is all that you have for dex. I don't really... I don't really find myself too partial to that. Uh, let's get some camouflage. We'll get some survival. Oh, let's bump down camouflage a little bit, I suppose. Basic. I would be basic, bitch. Survival up there. Yeah. Or should we do awareness? I'm not really sure what all this shit does quite yet. Running, I definitely want it to be advanced. And uh, endurance as well. Sure. Sure, why not? Melee weapons, we'll get that up to advanced. Mm, boxing, rifles... I don't really find myself too partial to any of this stuff. How often do I actually find a weapon in this game? Not often enough is the answer. So that looks like a decent uh, decent loadout. And it says my name is already in use. Dude, what? Why is this? Alright, uh, we'll just call him Jack Mihoff. Because that's the sort of game this is. You can skin people and eat people and wear their face as a happy little mask. <laughs> oh boy, here we go into the fray. Alright, here we are in the middle of a desert or some shit. So let's have a look at the map. Try and see where we are. It seems there's a town or some such up this way. So we should probably get there. But first things first, in this game you want to find rocks. So you can craft a knife. And then once you've got your knife, you can craft a spear. Which is ultra important because you don't want to go fucking toe to toe with uh, anything. <laughs> Players, zombies, any of that shit. Don't do it. Get a little bit of slow down here. Good lord. Let's look at this metabolism menu so we can just marvel at it for a minute. Oh my god. Protein, carbs, fat, fiber, sodium, water, sugar. What's S fat? Oh, saturated fat. Yeah. So if you eat too much fat, you'll get big and chubby. And if you uh, eat too much protein, you'll get fucking ripped. I guess. I guess that's how it goes. So now that all the foliage is loaded in, we should be uh, a little a little better, a little more in shape. Oh, I'm feeling really out of shape lately. My god. So, some interesting stuff has been going on in my life. I don't know if you're too interested in that, but this is a, a bit of a slow game, so I guess we could... We could regale, regale the folk with some tales of what's been going on in the date do. So, uh, my wife's, my wife's cousin had leukemia, and I ended up going to Manila and giving blood, like one bag of blood, 500 cc's, and that shit just knocked me on my ass. Not right after I gave the blood, but. I came back and I have just been sick ever since, so I'm praying that I didn't like catch AIDS or something, which that might be a joke, I'm not sure quite yet, 
Uh, if I look back, it, it might not be funny at all. But, um, yeah. Came back, my son was sick. Whatever he had, we all caught it. And uh, the kid's been throwing up for about two weeks. It's like one of the worst flus that I have ever experienced in my life. Really, really fucking nasty. It seems like every every winter around here in the Philippines, I end up getting just slammed. Absolutely slammed. And um, that seems to be just how it goes. Small wooden sticks. I don't need those. I need a I need a big stick. I need a long stick. You gotta find like a, a skinny tree that I could chop down, make some spears, keep myself nice and safe out here. That's how it goes. Love this tree. Is this skinny enough? Gotta watch my little stamina meters. Stamina, energy, hydration. I don't really know what all the meters and shit do, but like I said, it's a really in-depth game. It's super, super cool. The, th the first thing you probably want to do in Scum is uh, play some solo. I really like these crafting games that'll let me go solo. You don't have to jump in with uh, anybody else necessarily, because that's just going to lead to you getting your butt slammed most of the time. At least that's my experience. This looks like a nice tall tree. Maybe we get some goodies. Goodies, goodies. Yeah, look at my arms. My arms, bro. I'm fucking ripped. Small wooden sticks. Damn it. This is not what I want. I need some big sticks. I need a spear. There looks to be a taller tree. Let's try that. How about it? Let me cut. Yeah. Cut down tree, see? Not just cut. If you cut, you're just cutting up bushes, which is uh, a bunch of bullshit. It's not gonna do you any favors. Oh, I'm super glad to be back doing the YouTube thing. Obviously not a whole lot of time for it lately, which is super unfortunate, but I don't want to let it drop completely, you know what I mean? That's just uh, a shitty thing to do, especially since I got people supporting me on Patreon, uh, things like this. I want to keep it up for them, if nobody else. And yeah, abandoning people for a month and not saying shit was really a... Uh, a scummy thing to do. If you'll forgive the pun. Um, let's get some of these things in the holsters. Can I craft one more and hold it in my hands? Could that be like Super Spearman? Hell yeah, I could. Let's do that. Let's do exactly that. Three long wooden sticks, and I craft them all into spears. Oh, look at me. I get so many spears now. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Let's go hunt a lion. What's up with it? So, there's a lot of open space in Scum. And I've never really gotten the hang of it. I mean, what I've just demonstrated for you now is basically uh, the, the, the length of my expertise. The whole of my expertise is get the knife, get the spears... And then you won't die as easily. But it's still relatively easy to get taken down in this game. Uh, but relatively easy also to keep yourself safe. If you can spot the zombies from afar. If you spot them from afar, you can get a headshot with the spear. Then uh, you're in pretty good shape. But if they get up on top of you, then... Yeah, you might have a little bit of trouble. So there's a zombie. Hey, zomboy. Hey, buddy. What? See? I did him. I did him good. Oh, God. And now we got another. But You can see the uh, combat. It kind of locks you into this weird-looking mode. Did I kill him? Nope. 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 Please don't hurt me. I'm a nice guy. Now he's dead. Alright. So I took down a couple of zombos. Only took one punch, 3% of my health, but it's hard to get the health back, is the trouble. Uh, high top shoes, I don't think so. Sweatpants, maybe. Hmm. What do the high tops do? Not a whole lot. Put my trainer shoes and my sweatpants. Sometimes you get a, 
a boot or something like that that you can stash stuff in, but unfortunately that guy didn't have much as far as gear. So where's that other fella? He's got a stick in his head. Shouldn't be too hard to find, right? He, like, got really close to me, didn't he? Oh, God. There he is. I need my spear back. Thank you. Yes, my spears will make me mighty. And what do we got here? Inmate pants, inmate shirt, rag shoes. God damn. Nothing. Short answer? Ain't got nothing. That's alright. Oh shit. Here's somebody. Or something. More accurately. Hey, hey friends. Yeah. That's how we do that. <laughs> and he's a big fat boy. All he's got is inmate shirt as well, I think. Trainer shoes, inmate pants, inmate shirt. Can I have my spear back? No? I guess I'm just going to chop his body up. This is uh, something that I haven't done yet. I don't think I should probably eat, eat the zombie meat. Stay away from that. That's bad meat. Damn, there's a lot of meat on this boy. I'll tell you that right now. Wow. Puppet head? Puppet arm? Why are they puppets? They've got guts. Yeah, I don't need any of this shit. I just kind of did it to see if I could get my spear back. And I didn't. So, fuck it. Now let's search some cabinets and stuff. Eggs! Oh, we got an egg! <laughs> Always remember, before you leave the house, we Watch. For own. Keys, egg, and egg as a backup. It's a friendly acronym to keep you safe in all of your journeys in life. Oh, got a tracksuit top. Maybe this is a little better. But yeah, inventory space is hard to come by. Hopefully I'll find a, uh, a backpack or something. That's the real money maker. Metal scrap. Mm. I could probably craft something out of that, but I don't have any idea. I guess I could dig through the crafting menu just a little bit. We did enough of that in Project Zomboid, didn't we, boys? Oh, I got a Bok Lava. I look fucking cool now, don't I? Oh, I'm, I'm awesome. So I think this is just a one-story house. A little shit shack. Alright, whatever. Let's uh, go check out the other house, I suppose. I'm just looking for a backpack. Can somebody help me out with a backpack? Open up. Oh, this is like a farm. A farm hoose. Well, don't think I'm going to find too much in here. There's a ladder. We could go upsy-daisy. Ooh, and a bushman. A bushman knife. Let's see if I can, uh, stick this somewhere. If I put my stone knife on the ground, can I stick the Bushman knife? No. Well, that sucks. I don't want to drop it. Son of a bitch. I guess I'll just carry it in my hands. Oh, inventory space. Mortal enemy of mine. Oi, oi, oi. Alright, seems not too much in the attic either. Rag stripes. Uh, pass. Rags. Double pass. I guess it would be good for making bandages or something like that, but... I'm not, not in the market at the moment. I'm only missing a, a wee bit of health. I'll be okay. Alright, so let's continue on up the road here. Should probably cut this tree. Hey, hey, hey. And Q and E lets you lean to the side like that. That's how I'm switching the camera back and forth. Usually I'm always on E, but I guess if you need to peek around a corner or something, you go Q and lean left. 
kind of. Lean, kind of. Not really, though. Uh, here's another improvised wooden spear. Let's go ahead and do this. Do this, do this, do this. Hmm. Lots of bullets, metal axe. Oh, I shouldn't interrupt the crafting. My bad. I was just, uh, exploring. Exploring my surroundings, you see? Alright, so... What do we got? Spear. In hands. I dropped my Bushman knife somewhere. Are you okay, buddy? Always still a bit sick. As am I. But I didn't want to, uh... Let a full month elapse before I fucking... Did something with the channel. I felt extremely guilty about it. I'm like, God, what a what a piece of shit I am. But I'm back. I'm back. With something new and exciting. Uh, let's fucking nail this guy. Uh-oh. Lag, lag, lag. Uh, ah! Yeah, bitch. Got him. Got him. Give me this spear. Hopefully he's got some goodies. I could really use a, a nice coat or something. Hippie pants. Wool sweater. Uh, these don't seem to be doing much good as far as, like, inventory space. The tracksuit top is better than the sweater. The best time to wear a striped sweater. I thought he had a, a hat. I was wondering if I could wear the hat on top of my baklava. Ba 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 lava? The floor is lava? What? <sighs> oh my god. I feel so rusty too. As far as like uh, commentary and stuff goes, but I just had to jump back into it. Jump back into it, see if I can get back in the swing of things. These hippie pants look really fucking horrible. Hemp fiber pants. This guy's probably hot as shit. It looks sunny. Extremely sunny out, and I got a fucking baklava and a sweater and some hemp... Hemp fiber pants. It's not good. It's never good. I think I dropped my knife. So I'm gonna have to take good care of the spears that I have. And hopefully I'll find a, a backpack or something similar. That's the goal. And I could actually uh, carry around some decent shit. Right now I'm just scrubbing. Scrubbing like a nub. Scrubbing my nubbin. Search, search. Nothing, nothing. Come on, dig in the trash. They call me the trash man. I eat trash. Commit suicide. Ah, oh, that seems like a good option, doesn't it? Some plastic scissors. Yeah, I'll take some shitty scissors. Why not? Could probably use them to cut up some clothes or whatnot. Make some rags and things. Um, I think I searched everything. Oh no, I didn't. Here's some soap. One of the best prison gadgets out there. In professional terms, it's called Smooth Land Tray. Offers every prisoner a fun and not so rough time. Romance. Prison romance. Smooth land tray. That's true. If you soap up your butthole, then everybody's having a good time. Jersey shirt. Um, I don't think that's adding any inventory space, but at least it's cooler than the inmate shirt, so we'll stick with it. We'll stick with it. Let's climb the ladder. Come on. I know it's a tough one. You can do it. And I don't know where he put that other javelin. Maybe that's what he used the soap for. Smooth lit entree. This is a scope. But I can't seem to uh, pick it up. Probably got no fucking inventory space. Mm-hmm. Can I have this? Yeah. Hunting scope. Well, that'll be useful if I ever find a fucking gun. Spoilers, I probably won't. <laughs> it just it just doesn't happen for me. Oh, I did just drop the spear on the ground. Okay. Hmm, anything else in here? 
Something interesting. Seems not. Alright. Let's go uh, find some more zombies to kill. Some more houses to search. Some more frames to drop. <laughs> Holy crap. But we're having a good time. This is a, uh, a pretty good start, all things considered. We just need a little bit more luck with the uh, drops and things like that. But we'll be in good shape. Lead plate. Okay. What is this, Minecraft or something? Do they have lead in Minecraft? I don't know. I, I played Minecraft last year at some point. Maybe I get, I'll show you guys my house sometime. But really, it's, it's not that interesting of a game. I mean, you could get wrapped up in it. I can see why people get wrapped up in it, but it just doesn't have enough to hold me personally. I like something with, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff to kill. Not just creepers. I'm talking about zombies, bro. I want to kill some zombies. Alright. Nothing in the lockers. Nothing anywhere. How about here? Search it up. Eh. Well, shit. No love. No love at all. Hmm. There's another zombie. Suppose I could try and uh, nail this fuck right in the face. God, I hate that lag. Oh boy, I missed. I missed real good. Okay, okay, okay. Everything's fine. Back, back. I don't know if I'm taking any hits or what's happening. Oh, I knocked him down. Okay, that's good. Fat fuck. Fall over. Big bitch. Got a cool jacket, though. I'll take that. All day. Blue jeans. Yep. That is blue jeans. Oh, that's on top of the car. Blue jeans and a leather jacket? Dude, I could gas. And hiking boots. Alright, so we're looking pretty good now. These blue jeans are seeming uh, pretty nice, and the leather jacket offers a little more inventory space. So, can we bring the pants with? No, we don't have room for all that. We don't have room for all that. Piece of rubber. I leave it. What am I going to do with this? Where did my fucking spear go? I'm gonna have to craft another knife. Oh no, here it is. Okay, give me this. Gives me that. Don't lose your spear. So basically, all I'm looking for now is like uh, some nummy nums, some foodie foods, and uh, a backpacky. A packy whack. That's what I'll call it. Nothing, nothing. Come on, fridge. You don't have anything? Another piece of rubber. I'll search this cabinet. Oh boy. I hear a fella. Okay, uh, make sure all the doors are closed. It's gonna be fine. I'll just hide. Can I wear a baseball cap? Sure can. I look weird as hell with a bug love and a baseball cap, but why not? Fuck it, I say. Oh god. He's at the front door. He's trying to get in my house. Alright. Should we dip out the window? Dip. Slip and dip. Alright. I don't hear him. Perhaps he's a little confused on where I went. Oh, no he's not. Huh. Yeah, you got bitched, bitch. See what happens? Because you're dumb. Because you're dumb, that's right. What do we got here? Waste bag, yes. Definitely good. Cotton shirt, work pants. I mean, I like what I have on at the moment. 
Hmm. Yeah, I guess, uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't really need this stuff. Put that down. Work pants? Hmm. They do offer a bit more space than the blue jeans, yeah? They do, they do. So I guess I'll wear them. Why not? It's all about scraping for inventory space, and I'm really fucking stoked I found that waste bag. So, waste bag with a backpack? Ooh. We'll be styling. We'll be looking good. And there's so much to explore. This map is really big. Like I said, it's spacious, but uh, there's stuff to do. I mean, as long as you enjoy scavenging. <laughs> Which I do. I played a lot of Fallout. Oh, I got a cocoa nut. Spitfire jacket. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Am I wearing it? I guess. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing a Spitfire jacket and a leather jacket. I got two jackets. What the fuck is with that? This dude's gonna die of heat exhaustion in no time at all. But at least we're not gonna die from zombies. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Alright. I think I'm done here. I'm really just looking for a backpack at this point. I could also eat my cocoa nut. That might be quite delicious. Oh, this police station. Polici. Policia? Policia! Yeah, they probably got some guns or something, right? I'm still carrying around this fucking scope for no reason at all. I want coffee. Give coffee! I need! I need coffee! Tastes like chocolate! Make me go fast! Well, I'm surprised they don't have more like zombies in the buildings and shit like that. But I guess I'll be grateful. <laughs> that would be uh, some cheap shots, you know what I mean? Search, go ahead, search it. It's fine. No eye was found, that's about what I expected. Thank you so much. This is like a power generator for locker rooms. Deagle, 50 cal mag. A baton. Oh, fucking sweet. I can't carry the baton though. Can I stash the spear somehow? No, I need it to be three, three spaces tall in order to stash it. Fuck. I don't know if I can throw the baton as well as the spear. MP5. Oh shit, man. It's too big to fit in my waist bag, of course. There's some good shit in here. There's always good shit in the police station. A bat. Yeah. I want this bat. Can we throw this spear on the ground? And you give me the bat. Oh yeah. Call me Slugger. Alright. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that. There's also a uh, M9 on the table. Of course. Of course. There's so much good stuff. Um, police riot vest. Bulletproof. I bulletproof myself. Just in case any of the zombies have guns. It would be a really, really good thing to have, like, versus other players and stuff like that, but... There's nobody playing here but me. It's uh, our little secret. Alright, well, I guess we'll uh, go upstairs in the next episode, see what else we can find in the police station. Continue our journey in search of a backpack. I uh, will be back on a somewhat regular upload schedule. I fucking severely apologize for just letting it drop like that, you know? No excuse. If I want to do the YouTube thing, then I gotta do the YouTube thing. You can't fucking just be like, okay, bye guys, especially 
without leaving a, a video or something saying what's going on. But I did miss you, fellas, and I'm glad to be back. I hope you missed me as well. Join us for the next one. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe, friends. I'm Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, your scummy narrator. <laughs> but I'm back for the duration. Thank you for joining me. Feel free to check out the links in the description. We've got Twitter, Discord, Patreon. If you should enjoy, uh, go ahead and hit me up on any of those. I'd like to give a big shout-out to MMX Akira and Nico the Legend for supporting me, even through my fucking leave of absence. They are just absolute heroes. I will, I will give them that. Ah, couldn't be more appreciative. Anyways, this has been Scum, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.